To start a survey using the CS20 with Evidence Recorder, first turn on the data collector with the power button. And on the menu, on the, uh, on the desktop, you'll see an icon that says Evidence Recorder. Double tap that. Start a new scene or open a, an existing one. I'll put in the name Test 2. You can review the units and settings. It will then prompt that it wants to connect to the last total station. Just press reconnect. When it's paired, it'll display that the instrument has been leveled. And we'll prompt if you'd like to create a reference point, which is the spot that the instrument is set up over. It'll give it a default coordinate, a description of reference point, RP, and then coordinates, which you can set to 000 if you prefer. Ask if you would like to occupy the reference point. This means setting up the toll station over this new point that we just created. And that's yes. Here we are. We can set the instrument height at zero if we like to just reference everything to, to the center of the instrument, or you can measure up uh, to the dot on the side of the instrument and put that in. We're going to establish a backside direction of roughly north, zero. This is just a reference. Observing the backside tells you right here what we're doing. Now, on the side here, I only want to measure an angle because I just want to set the instrument to zero. I'll hit the, the measurement button then displays what it's about to do that it's going to set the <coughs> instrument to zero and now we're ready to take a measurement. To have the, the instrument come and locate us the search icon at the top right is tapped and starts a power search. The instrument then turns locates the prism. During this process, don't move. And once it's locked, the top symbol will turn into a lock. I can then take a measurement. It says map a new point or map point. Hit the measurement button. It's measuring an angle and a distance. It gives it the next point ID, a description. So I'll put in skid and you see it comes up with a list of common codes. You can also change, uh, edit this list and add, add your own. The prism height is measured from the, the pole and we store it. To save the data at the end, I'll choose import and export. I want to export an ASCII file, which is just a text file of your coordinates. If you insert a USB stick into the bottom, you can slide the lock and open the door on the bottom, insert the USB, and when you select OK, and actually I'm going to include a header on the file, which will have headers for each column so I know what they are. If you have a memory device inserted, at the top, there will be a button, a, uh, a folder that says hard disk, and that's what it calls your, your removable memory. In this case, I'm just going to use the internal memory and transfer this later. Give this a name and save the file. My two points are exported. My survey is complete. I can turn off the data collector here uh, with the power button, or if you prefer to exit. and do it this way.